Welcome to this shorter yin yoga class for your feet, wrists and your neck. So let's come on on your mat, making our way into the first pose, which is a toe stretch from all fours. Flex your feet, curling the toes under, shifting your body back until your hips rest directly on your heels and you may need to manually adjust your pinky toes with your hands. You can place your palms on your thighs. If the stretch is too intense for you, you can put your hands on a block out in front of you or just directly on the ground. You could also keep your hips slightly elevated to make it less intense. So regular yin yoga poses are held for three to five minutes, but these poses are not held for that long. About two minutes here. Find a position that serves you today. And then settle down. Let's release, lift and point your toes back. Coming into tabletop pose, just wiggle the toes and feet, make some circles. From tabletop pose, now moving into a simple wrist stretch. Looking down, rotate both palms so that the fingers point towards your knees. Spreading your fingers wide to keep the weight evenly distributed throughout your hands. And you probably already feel a stretch here. Think of shifting your weight back into your hips or sit back all the way by taking your knees further towards your hands. The more space between your knees and palm, the more it intensifies the stretch, so be mindful and find your edge in this pose. So if you type and text a lot during the day, the wrists can get really tight. This is a great pose to free them up, create more space in this area.
Slowly peel your hands off the mat. Sitting down on your heels if you aren't already. Just taking some wrist rolls as a counter pose and to release the pose. And now we'll stretch the front of the feet, sitting down on your heels with the toes pointed back. So first lift up to scoop your tailbone under and then sitting the hips back down. Place your elbows back behind you. If this is too intense, it probably is for most. Stay lifted up on your hands, that is more than enough. As long as you feel a good stretch and no pain, you are at the right spot. Find your edge and where you can stay comfortably holding this pose for two minutes also. Think of lifting your chest and inhaling and exhaling slow steady breaths through your nose. Notice if you're tensing up in your jaw or your shoulders. Slowly set your knees back down, coming out of this pose. Make your way back into ha hands and knees. Place the back of your palms on the ground this time, fingertips pointing towards you. And spread them really wide again. You may only need to shift back slightly to feel the stretch here. For most of us, this is quite intense. You can either try to keep the backs of the palms flat to the ground or you could also lift the back of the palms up slightly so only the fingers are on the mat. Play with each variation and what feels best for you today. If you have the back of the palms lifted, maybe try bending into the elbows a little bit not locking out any joints.
and release. You might want to make some gentle movements here. Shake out the wrists or make some circles. Our final pose will be some neck stretches, so please come to a seated position. Maybe sitting up on a block or a blanket to be more comfortable, hips higher than your knees. Hands resting on your knees, extending the ground of the head upward. And then interlace your hands like this behind your back. And put your fists with the hands interlaced off to your right side. So your right elbow is pointing out to the side and then release your right ear to your right shoulder, stretching into the left side of your neck. If you want to, you could take the stretch more into, into the back of the neck by pointing your chin down. And then release, head comes back up and then right away interlaced hands come to the left side, left elbow pointing out to the left and then left ear to left shoulder. The stretch is on the right side of your neck this time. Take deep, slow breaths and try to think of sending your breath into the space of your neck where you feel the stretch. And again, you can play with dipping your chin down to take the stretch into the back of your neck as well.
Lift your head back up to center, release the interlace of your hands. Staying seated to close this practice together, maybe take some shoulder rolls back and forward. Hands in prayer in front of the heart. Thank yourself for making it to your mat today. And be proud of yourself for taking this time to prioritize your own well-being. From my heart to yours, Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with a friend. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.